Hello there. We're out on safari today helping poorly animals. Shall we see which animals need our help? Ah! I see that we have Jamila the meerkat and Bobo the hippo all waiting to see us. Come on, Robbo. Let's go and see what's the matter with them. Meerkats are very good at digging. They use their sharp claws to dig tunnels and hidey holes underground so they can stay cool and stay safe. They are also good at keeping an eye out for danger. Hello Jamila, how can we help you today? Aww. Oh dear, you seem to have trouble moving your head. Does your neck hurt? <laughs> Have you been on lookout for too long? Just as I thought. Let's check you over. Can you move your head from side to side? And up and down? Well, I'm afraid someone else is going to have to be on lookout duty for a bit while your neck gets better. You've been doing the same thing over and over again for too long and your neck muscles are all achy. Robbo, I think we're going to need a neck collar. A neck collar will help keep your neck still. No more twisting until it is better. There you go. That should feel better. All right, Robbo. It's off to the watering hole for our last patient of the day. Bobo the hippo. Hippos love to spend time in the water and they can hold their breath for up to five minutes. Hippos are also pretty enormous the only other animal on land bigger than a hippo is an elephant. Hi there, Bobo. What can we do for you? Your skin looks a little dry and you seem to be scratching an awful lot. Don't worry, Bobo. Skin can often get dry in the heat and the sun. We can fix this easily. You just need a bit of pampering. Dry skin can be treated with a little moisturising cream. It helps the skin go soft again. That's true, Robbo, but we can use something even more fun to moisturise Bobo right outside the watering hole. Hippos love a mud bath. <laughs> <laughs> What a great end to a fantastic day helping Jamila and Bobo. See you next time for more adventures in our pet rescue jeep. Cheetahs are the fastest animals on land. They can run at a speed of 70 miles per hour, which is as fast as a car on the motorway and they can reach that top speed in just three seconds. One, two, three. Hello, Asher. How can we help you? I think I can see the problem. Have you been out running today, Asher? I think you have been running so fast, you've given yourself a blister on your paw. It will get better on its own with some rest, but I think we had better protect it with a plaster too. 
plasters can help our bodies to heal themselves. By covering the sore area it protects it and keeps it clean so it gets better faster. Which plaster would you like, Asher? Red? Green? Blue? Yellow? Or orange? Does that feel better? I would slow down a little though. Zebras have a striped pattern on their bodies to help them camouflage in the grasslands. Camouflage is when an animal blends in with its background, so it can't be seen easily. Hello Zane! I don't think you'll be able to camouflage very well today. You are black and pink! What happened? I see. You have sunburn. Did you spend too long in the sun? Going outside in the sunshine is lovely, but we must remember to protect ourselves from sunlight by wearing a hat and putting on sun cream. Remember to protect yourself from the hot sun. Robbo, could we give Zane some sun protection, please? That's better. Take care in the sun, please, Zane. Who's next? Uma the Flamingo? Let's go! Flamingos spend lots of time standing in water. They usually balance on one leg to stay warm. And they use their specially curved beaks to catch their favourite food. Shrimp. Hello, Uma. Ouch! Look at that nasty bump. Have you hurt your head? like you lost your balance and fell over. That bump looks sore. It's very important to look after your head. Let me check you over. Let me just have a quick look in your eyes. I'm checking to see how your eyes react to a bright light. That's good. You seem to be fine. I think we just need to help this bump go down. Robbo, can we have an ice pack, please? An ice pack is a bag filled with ice that can help soothe bumps and bruises. The cold helps to take away the pain and shrinks the bump. There you go, Uma. You'll be fine in no time. Just watch out for the wobbles in the future. Now, let's head. 
head off to help Lulu, the ox pecker. Here we are! Lulu is an ox pecker bird. These birds are also known as tick birds because they like to eat the tiny insects that live on the backs of other animals. Lulu, you seem to have damaged your wing. Does it hurt? You poor thing. At least you can still move it, so we know it's not broken. But I think it is sprained, so you will need to rest it so it can get better. Robbo, do we have a sling? A sling is a folded piece of material that is used to hold an arm or wing still. The arm rests inside the sling so that it can heal properly. Is that more comfortable, Lulu? Good. Remember to rest as much as you can. Now, it's time for our last patient, Shaka the Rhino. Look, here he comes. Rhinos are enormous. They are covered in thick skin as tough as a suit of armour. And even though they only eat plants, they can grow to the size of a large car. Hello, Shaka. What seems to be the problem? Goodness! Something is making you very itchy, isn't it? Let's have a look and see. Robbo, magnifying glass, please. I'm afraid you have little insects called ticks on your skin, Shaka. They are on your back and behind your ears. Mm. I know you can't reach back there to get the tick, Shaka, but don't worry. I think I know someone who can help. Oh, Lulu! Could you come here, please? Shaka, meet Lulu. She needs to rest while her wing gets better. Lulu, meet Shaka. He could really use your help with a tick problem. I think those two are going to be great friends. When you're the best of friends, you don't need to be the same. In fact, it helps to blend all your differences together. Together you can reach higher or lower. Together you can move faster or slower. Togetherness makes you stronger. a busy day for us on safari. I'm so glad that we could help Issa, Lulu and Shaka. Join me and Robbo next time as we help more animals. Bye! Bye.